Hi everybody, this is Pajama Prime, back for a vlog of sorts. Um, been a while, I realize. It's been about two months uh, and a few days since TFCon, so it's the perfect time to talk about TFCon. Personally, I thought it was great, though I spent a lot of time volunteering and then customizing, so um didn't really see as much as I did in previous years. But it was still a great experience for me. Seeing new people, seeing old friends, uh, seeing awesome guests, uh, you know, meeting the guests in some capacity. Just in a, a small part of the system rather than being, you know, a, a normal guest or a, a normal convention goer. This year uh, was a really interesting experience for me. I mean, I didn't have a great capacity, uh, a great, uh, r the biggest role uh, in the great TFCon machine. Uh, I merely uh, was a volunteer, so well, all, they're all volunteer. Everyone's a volunteer, really, but um, I wasn't like, full staff. Um, all I did was stand uh, at the registration line, or not at the, even at the registration line, like when people came in to either the panel room or the like dealer room entrance to, and I checked their, see if their badges or their um, wristbands were on, and if they had them. That was the extent of my job, and while I was, it wasn't the most glorious thing again, um, it was still fun. So, um, I got to see some, some, uh, panels. Stupidly, I missed the third party panel, which was probably one of the biggest, dumbest things of my life. Not my life, of, of the convention. I asked for time off of my shift, uh, to go see it, and then I spent time stickering up a particular toy in the lobby out of the dealer room, or out of the panel room. Yeah. It was kind of lame. What, uh, hall, I guess, is the next thing to talk about. Uh, big, big things about the hall. This guy. Big bulky himself. Uh, are the stickers falling off again? A little bit. These stickers are blah slightly. Um, I got Bulkhead here for uh, a stupid amount, and I will be reviewing him as part of the Resurgence of the Wrecker uh, Marathon, though I think that ship has long sailed now. Yeah, the Wrecker Marathon, I'll, I'll get to that. Um, so uh, I got Bulkhead for a stupid price, uh, which I should have gotten a Steel Core from. That kind of sums up how much I paid for him. Um, and yeah, it's just it's not. Uh, well, I I love I love my Bulkhead. He's a he's one of those trophies of the or the not not a trophy. He's one of the the reminders of the year. Um, I also got, let's see if I, I look, I got repro labels, I got, uh, repro labels for, uh, crank the crankcase and, uh, barricade set, so barricades all tricked out a little bit, very nice, I got some repro labels for, uh, Wheeljack, he's there in the rec, he's there in the record, uh, pileup, um, just minor, uh, stylistic changes uh, that were recommended to me by the people at uh, on the Repro Labels Facebook site Facebook page thing uh, so that was cool I did that what else I got me lots more sweeps lots more junkions I got some vehicons didn't get RC there but I uh, got some Repro Labels for Knockout some for, some, for Ratchet uh, Prime Ratchet rather um, I got some BotCon stuff from uh, from Artoni, uh, SD Tracks and SG uh, Octopunch, which are awesome figures. The main 
draw of the convention other than Scott McNeil erector or uh, shafter rather the erector homage who is a pretty cool toy and is in my opinion wrecker worthy so uh, yeah lots of great stuff lots of great times um, I had a girlfriend for a while that happened for a month I met her at TFCon um, Most of you who watch this don't know who I'm talking about, so I won't mention her name. Um, but uh, I hung out with her for a lot of the con, um, well, as much as I could. Uh, and then we started dating for a month, and then uh, as, as quickly as it started, it ended. Uh, I don't really want to get into it. That would make this video about 20 minutes long. Well, longer than it already probably is. I got some prints. I got uh, a print from uh, said female, which is uh, it was there under the under the little formers, but it is no longer there. Uh, I got that uh, Megatron's Last Supper from Silas Z or Z as we say in Canada. I got this one, uh, Feeding Time, also from Silas Z uh, or Shiva Mura Prime, I believe. He also goes by. Um, what else? Some stuff that I didn't mention. Uh, regular purchases uh, that weren't TFCon related in the last two months. I got uh, a barricade. Now he, his horns are a little different because I, I painted them with uh, silver paint marker and his uh, grill. I painted with silver uh, Sharpie paint marker. Which is pretty good. And, uh, I intend to get the Reaper labels for this guy to make him even better. And uh, I'm sure eventually I will do a comparison review between Movie 1 and Movie 3 Barricades. Eventually. Um, I also got completely Transformers unrelated. But to kind of pose with my uh, cliff jumper, I got a. Um, which was this one? Legends? No. Stage something legends rock. Is there any kind of name on here? I forget. Nope. Um, it's an okay toy. Uh, it has no posability in the legs other than going forward. And that looks really weird. Um, it's like a DC Direct toy, if that makes any sense. Um, well, not quite a DC Direct. It has more posability in the arms than a DC Direct ever would. Um, but you kind of have to keep it in certain poses for it to look good. And that's the pose I've chosen. Uh, it just kind of looks badass uh, in, the, in, the, in the suit that I know him more in. His shirt is somewhere. I, his pants are still... That sounds really wrong. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Um, I, I made a, a Hurricane toy, a G2 Hurricane, out of uh, Sideswipe. Or no, sorry, out of uh, Red Alert, but I'll talk about that later. Um, oh, and so these... Uh, what else I want to talk about? Um, this... The last two months um, since I stopped making videos, um, I had two reviews uh, already filmed, and they were going to get posted, or they were going to get edited and posted, but TFCon came up, and shit just happened, and... Uh, it's partially laziness, it's partially work uh, coming into my life again. Um, I think mostly laziness, really. Um, and just no drive to do anything about it. Um, I will post those, pi those videos after this video is posted. Um, and then I will get back to the Wrecker Marathon. I want to finish it up. I want to review Bulkhead, I want to review the rest of my wreckers, you know. 
Um, and I want to get to other figures because I do still want to review. Um, it's not like I'm fi doing the records and then finishing or just finishing all together. I want to. I do still love Transformers and I do still want to review. It's just difficult to find inspiration to do so sometimes. I'm sure everyone has felt the same uh, at least once. Uh, so now I'm going to get to some iPhone footage that I uh, am going that I've taken of uh, the room re my recent uh, acquisitions in the last two months that are away from arm's length and I don't feel like cutting and getting them all and then putting them back on the shelf um, two things one I've never filmed a video with an iPhone before actually I well, I did, but I, yeah. Um, I went, I went vertical, not horizontal. That's why there will be such different the difference in uh, size. My apologies. I will know to do that. I will know to do it in horizontal next time. Um, and in the footage, I missed out on mentioning my two arms micron Viacons, Steve and Bob. Uh, they are one of the, they are some of the better, they are some of the greatest parts of TFCon, uh, th those two acquisitions on the Friday. It was the, that was probably some of the best 80 bucks that I ever spent on these Arms Microns Viacons. The shin stickers still suck, but they are great toys. Um, I still need to get a Prid one, and I still need to get three Jet Viacons, plus an FE, a uh, first edition Viacon, and there's apparently a General, uh, Jet Viacon General, who's going to be silver. I don't know if I'm going to get that, but it sounds kind of awesome. Uh, anyway, on to the iPhone footage. Okay, so here is the... Uh... Here's my collection. Uh, here we have uh, my my uh, Decepticon Pretenders, and at the back we have the new Octo Punch with his duck chest, and uh, as you can see, over the red shattered glass uh, logo, I put a nice G1 logo. Focus. Focus. Thank you. Right there. So that's pretty awesome. I really like Octo Punch. Um, great addition to my collection. Move down here, and uh, in front of the band, my cast iron band, we have uh, this is Hurricane. I just got him, or I got, I made him actually from. Uh, the red alert mold, as you can see, uh, at the custom class, and he's pretty cool. And here he is next to Flash, who I made uh, two years ago. Move down here, and uh, it's kind of hard to see in the dark, but uh, I have a bunch. I have four uh, or three sweeps and a scourge now. So there's scourge. And uh, I have three sweeps, um, and due to the repro labels set, I gave them each number. So that is uh, that is sweep fourteen, and that is sweep zero six, and that is sweep eighty nine. Ooh, sorry. Um, and those numbers are uh, my birth date, fourteen oh six eighty nine. So now you all know my birthday, um, and I just gave uh, I gave uh, Scourge all of the same stickers except for the number and I also added this tracker um, sticker which these sweeps don't have on them because he is Scourge the tracker and they are not they are just sweeps um, moving over here to the tradi my traditional classics shelf um, here's a knockout yes I know he's prime but He's the only not he's the cool knockout, so he's in classics now. Um, I put 
the I got the repro label set for him. Very nice set. I also did some customizing for him. So you see that the, the yellow paint on his on his uh, there on his doors and on his hood there. And uh, with uh, with knockout, I got like I uh, when did I get that? I got in the, the ma in the mail uh, on the on the Tuesday no on the Friday of TFCon. Uh, I got a ratchet, and then I got the repro label set for him. Unfortunately, I'm I lost a knife, or one of the scalpel knife things for ratchet. So he only has one, and he is currently. Um, being uh, repurposed as a classics medics and if you don't know who medics is uh, that's the uh, new rescue bot who came out in the toy line I have no idea if he showed up in the in the show yet I don't know um, also if we go over to Rekgar here I got a Henke Rekgar I think that was it United or Henke I forget but uh, I got Rekgar and I got some more junk heaps so now uh, I have seven Junkions in total. Everyone's riding a bike except Rekgar. And if I ever get a scrap heap, um, one of those Rekgars, I um, forget what I named them, um, will become a bike and Junk Heap will ride him. And then Rekgar will have something to ride as well. Uh, over here, you can see her. Uh, is SG Tracks, or I say her because uh, I have put lips on her. I don't know how well you can see it. There you go. On her to uh, make her classics road rage, because that's how I've envisioned her. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. I like that uh, they gave you the option. They kind of give you the option. I just put G1 labels on her and gave her lips. And uh, the elephant in the well, not the elephant in the room. The uh, the glaring new thing is the Motobot RC from Perfect Effect. Uh, I got the pink version. Duh, G1 all the way, and she is amazing. Uh, very posable, very cool. Uh, I have a few pictures on Facebook. Uh, if you f if you're friends with me on Facebook, you can take a look. Uh, she is amazing. Very tricky to put it into. Uh, vehicle mode, but uh, still nonetheless pretty cool. Now, uh, on to non transformer things. I'm gonna get up on here and show you. Whoa. And show you the uh, Mega Bloks Wow Arthas uh, and Frozen Throne and the Dragon. I forget what his name is. But uh, I got those because I loved Warcraft 3, specifically the Frozen Throne. And that was, the Frozen Throne was the, just the epitome of that game. That was the pinnacle of that game and uh, I just loved it. Um, let's see. Last but not least, uh, a recent purchase that just came in the other day. Yesterday, actually. I got Common Rider Forze, the SH Figuarts. As you can see, he's very happy about space. He is next to a Double, Skull, and uh, O's. And here are all my Figuarts and one Figma. With loving uh, space in between them for other Figuarts. Well, I will eventually get. But uh, the, the focus of right now is Forze because he's brand new within the last two months, within the last two days actually. And there is his bits bag, because I have not found a place for it in my tiny little bits bag, or my box of bits bags rather, and uh, I need to get a bigger bits box. And I almost forgot, I did get a Cyberverse Ironhide, and he's pretty cool. Um, don't think I'm going to get the the deluxe version. I have no idea. I may get cup because there were some ideas of uh, 
Some ideas to customize cup and I think rumble into um, other figures. So I may get those. Uh, also, a recent project of mine, I made this custom. Whoa. What is going on here? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to turn over here. So uh, this is a custom fire star that I did. Uh, out of, obviously, uh, Power Core Combiner's um, Chopster and Smolder. No, sorry, Smolder and Chopster. My bad. So uh, I took Chopster and I painted all the, the black bits red and orange and white. I think I did a pretty good job. I had to disassemble this entire leg assembly and, um, you know, wipe or uh, sandpaper it all down. And it's very, it's very interesting process. I've never actually done like a full on custom. Um, biggest I've done were some, well, obviously, um, hurricane over there and, um, and flash, but something I've never done something on my own that did not have instructions with it. This white needs some touching up. I don't know why it always needs touching up. Um, she does, she's definitely not your typical female physique. Um, definitely not like the G1, but I, retroactively, I like it like this. It kind of just, this, as a female, this, you don't see a lot of, of like, super feminine, um, for, uh, firefighters, unless you're in Rescue Heroes. Was that Rescue Heroes? Yeah, um, that old Nickelodeon or um, play school show on Teletoon, Rescue Heroes. Unless you're them, then uh, uh, this is very stereotypical. But she uh, she's more of a butch woman uh, to be a firefighter, and uh, that's kind of why I like her. This custom, uh, and I think I did a pretty damn good job. So yeah, here's the back. I painted up the silver or the uh, the details with silver and very poor um, red covering up did those those red um, these were red and they are now silver the these like kinda pads or whatever I guess for stepping on and uh, yeah I just really like it I don't know if I'm gonna do with it anything with this I think I'm just gonna leave it as is because there's not a specific um, symbol on Chopster so I think it's okay but it looks pretty awesome. Yeah. So that happened. Um, I also got the repro labels for Octane, which are pretty new. Pretty awesome. Lots of chromy goodness. And uh, I painted those. Those uh, hubcaps. So yeah, the, lots, of, uh, lots of stuff done. And, uh, hopefully more to come. Uh, I don't know how often I'm going to be posting videos. It's probably just going to be every, who knows, it might, may turn it, turn out to be like once a month. I have no idea. It depends on what I'm feeling. Um, I would like to try and pursue, um, and get back into music which was my original obsession before Transformers ever happened to, for me. Um, music has always been a big thing in my life, so I would like to get back to that. So the YouTube may have to either get taken away, not, not taken away, um, be downsized or converted in a way. Because I do, I am really interested in trying to put up my, put up music on YouTube. Uh, I've seen a lot of mus musicians doing it, and I would like to try and put out that media, put it out in that kind of medium, um, just because I feel like I'm not gonna get too far in performing. Like, 
just in performing jazz and doing it for a living. Um, I don't see myself getting too far in that right now until a lot of pros die, <laughs> as the sad truth goes. Um, but yeah, hopefully YouTube won't be going away for Pajama Prime. Um, but I would really like to... Oh, I, I, it's it's going to be downsized a lot. Hopefully not too too much, but it will be. So now that I can actually see myself, uh, I'm just going to say um, thank you for staying subscribed. Thank you for the people who have subscribed in these last two months when there hasn't been anything new. Um, thanks to all the random tr Twitter followers and uh, the not-so-random Twitter followers, which are far less. Um, so, uh, hopefully not for the last time, and hopefully, uh, for the first of many to come, and not too far in between, um, I will gonna, I'm gonna sign off, and I will talk at you later. Bye.